Pamela says, I'm a marketing manager and I was wondering if you could explain brand consistency. How does Marcio do that for its clients? Okay. Yeah, uh, man, that's so important. Um, mentioned that Marcio signature process at the core, if you think of these priorities as satellites that are floating around this core, um, at the core is your planet. <laughs> pun intended with the whole Mars studio and planet thing at the core is what we refer to as your almighty brand. This is a concept that our founder created with the almighty brand. And the real, the purpose is that the brand should reflect the people living on that brand, the people you're serving on that planet. And that's, again, comes back to your core audience, right? Understanding who they are and where they live, um, understanding their needs and creating messages that clearly resonate your value proposition, your service, starting from the brand, starting from the icon, starting from the tagline, starting from that. And then you have to transcend that into your first priority, your business visualization. What is business visualization? Business visualization is basically everything I have that makes me a business. So historically, it used to be your storefront and your sign and, and whatever was in your window. And when you walked into the store, the experience you felt, I'm sure you, you guys experienced that with, um, let's say, a Walmart or um, a, a, an Apple store, um, a, a, a McDonald's. When you walk into these places, they all have like kind of a brand presence. So, But in the 21st century, uh, oftentimes with businesses, that brand presence is translated into a digital storefront. So your website is really your digital storefront in this uh, uh, vast digital universe, right? So starting from your business visualization are all the things I need to be in business. If you're a restaurant, maybe a menu. If you're a doctor's office, you know, that 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 sales collateral brochure pamphlet we were just talking about. Um, and it is extremely important to make sure there's uh, brand integration throughout the sales and marketing process. Um, the reason being you don't want to um, disconnect your touches. We understand that it takes eight to 12 touches in order to have a 50% conversion rate. So if, if, the, if the individual has a clear understanding of your value proposition and there's some consistency in the brand language, you're essentially creating a pathway and you're creating these touches that will maximize the opportunity for conversion. Um, and it's important that you know when, when you're going through this process, when, you're, you, when the user is going through this process, um, that they that they realize that it's the same organization uh, making those touches. And also the consistency in the value proposition. Um, we may have three different target audiences that we're serving with, and more often than not, there's more than that in terms of the services a company will offer, right? Um, you're going to have a user experience on the website. You're going to have marketing uh, engines that are generating leads um, with advertising or funnels that are going to bring them into that experience and then they're going to drill down. But the person may also choose to bounce around. Um, ultimately, regardless of how they're entering and where they're going and the journey they're going through and the, and the engagement process and how that all happens, all of that needs to be consistently the same language. Because what are we trying to do? We're trying to acclimate our clients to what, what services we have and the process that we have. And the sooner you start that journey and the sooner you're able to articulate that value proposition and the more consistent you are throughout the business visualization and then the sales funnels and collateral and then the lead generation engines and, and the follow-up retargeting, remarketing, right? And, that, and the promotional emails and so forth and so on and in your advertising, the easier it's going to be to to basically um, convey that message and the clarity in your thoughts um, and what it is that you have to offer, making it easier for the person to make a decision to move forward with you.